guys, check out the next level games for all your TCG needs. Link is down below in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team with Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Fan Friday. And for those who don't know, the way we work Fan Friday is we use Patreon to pick a random person to win. Um, this week, only two people voted. We only have four Patreons anyway. I guess uh, Kat and... Uh, <clears throat> Who's the other person? Kat and uh, Steven. I guess they're busy. I didn't see this, but uh, what we're going to do is we're putting Clayton and Eugene in our little random name picker. Uh, they both are $5 tiers. They both have five votes. So let's go. Let's filter duplicate names. Don't do that. Unless, I mean, it's two people. I guess we could have filtered it. Either way, it doesn't really matter. And let's see. Where does it land? It is landed on Eugene. And Eugene picked Charizard with Fairy Tales. So we'll see how that goes here in a second, guys. And we'll see what that looks like. Alright, guys. So a quick build. Uh, so he said Charizard with Fairy Tales. And I bet he meant. Uh, you know, a little nine tails, of course. It's got the mysterious guidance. Let's search for two item cards. Put your hand. So our consistency is really nice. Of course, a little of Vulpix with Beacon. But what does Charizard do? Well, Charizard has the ability Roaring Resolve. Once during the turn, before you attack, can we put two damage characters on this Pokemon? If you do, search your deck for two Fire Degrees and attach them to this Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. So what exactly does Charizard do? Well, Charizard has the attack Continuous Blaze Ball. It does 30 day base, and then discard all Fire Degrees from this Pokemon. This attack does 50 more damage for each card you discard it in this way. So technically, if you attach a Fire Energy, then you use Roaring Resolve, you can do 180 damage. That's great. Now, the thing is, you can use Roaring Resolve on multiple Charizards. Not like you can attach to multiple Charizards, but you can use, you know, the active Charizard can use, and the bench Charizard can use, and the other bench Charizard can use, and you have all these energies on your Charizard, the continuous Blaze Ball could come up out of nowhere and start taking huge knockouts. Now, it is a stage two, and that is probably the biggest downfall of this deck. And in Expanded, we do have other cards as, you know, Blacksmith, VS Seeker. Those are really good consistency cards. But we're trying in Standard. We're not getting away with that. Uh, we're playing this Charmander because it has 70 HP. It has Scratch. All the other Charmanders, I was didn't know which one really to choose. It seemed like the best one um, for when I looked at it. I mean, let's, let's look at Charmander again. You know, we got the other 70 HP one. The Ember, Discard of the Fire. This has 50 HP. Um, they all have... Uh, this one is a one Retreat cause as well. Uh, so that's really nice. The other Charmander, it, I guess... I guess it's the same card... Um, what is this? Oh, this is like a like a promo. So this, use, let's use this one because this one looks cooler. It's the same as that card. Just now noticed that. Uh, yeah, and I think it's a promo or something. All right, so when using this Charmeleon, um, there was an interesting though one that we could use, and it was actually this one. It has the ability Burning Fighter. You discard the top five cards of your deck. Um, and all you attach all the fighters, but you're discarding, so that's not very good. This Charmander, Charmander has 90 HP, um, which is the one we're using. Um, this one has 90 as well, but this one needs two colors, and you don't discard. Okay, I guess burning might actually be better. Two retreat costs, two retreat costs. So this is like the things I look at when I'm building stuff. So it seems like this one is better for sure. Yeah. All right, so there we go. So we're playing a 4-3-4 Charizard line. We're trying to get those Charizards out as much as possible. I try to get them out. Um, consistency, trying to find multiple Charmanders, right? Charmeleon, stuff like that. And one Ditto to help evolve. Um, one thing I just now noticed is we don't have Rescue Stretcher. We'll, we'll change that here in a second. Uh, two Energy Cycle to get those energies back into your deck. Three Nest Ball to start trying to search for your Charmanders. Your Vulpix is turn one. Boulder Candy trying to get the charts out of ASAP. Uh, we also don't have Timer Ball in here. I thought I put Timer Ball in here. So we'll cut one of the Nest Balls for Timer Ball most likely. Um, we can cut... We'll cut the Lysander's Prism, right? For each Fire Pokemon to play, put a card in your opponent's discard pile in the Lost Zone. That's not really good. So we're going we're gonna to put that away as well. So we got the Four Ray Candy, Four Ultra Ball. Um, what we'll do is put two Timer Ball. No, let's put one. Let's go timer ball. Let's see. Let's put one and then put one stretcher. And while we talk about more about the deck, we'll figure it out. Stretcher, of course, get Pokemon. Timer ball, 
just flip coins to the evolutions, ultra ball for consistency, uh, one hate factory, you discard a fire energy, you draw three cards, very nice, for Cynthia, three Erica's, Erica could be cut maybe, uh, three Guzmas are really nice to switch out Charizards because you do discard the energies when you use the attack, for Lily, because we're playing like Ultra Ball, we're working, we're evolving, and all that kind of stuff. And 12 Fire Energies. I guess one card we could maybe cut is a Vulpix, who had a second Timer Ball. Um, that we're playing. Yeah, let's cut the Vulpix for a second Timer Ball. And there you go. So this is kind of how I build decks, guys. It's kind of on the fly, especially for Fan Friday, right? So let's go play some games with this. Um, let's pick all this stuff. Let's go Charizard. I mean, I if you can get set up... I think you have somewhat of potential, right? I think what you have potential with is against, like, GX decks. Uh, but I think you're probably going to lose against, like, um, the, the bait, like, not basics, like the, the non-GX, GX, GX Like, I think we get destroyed by Lost March and stuff like that. And, like, I think that's the biggest downfall of this deck. I think you just lose that stuff. Even to, like, Drachi Zapdos. But... We'll see what we can do here, of course. You know, we start Lele, you know, no poke, poke on our hand, of course. Um, we could have played Elms, um, but I obviously opted. We went for more of a Nest Ball, Ultra Ball kind of thing. And, oh, man, there's a... <laughs> we're hoping to play against this, like, the Pikachu Zap Zapgrom, Zapgrom stuff. That would be really nice. And if you notice, oh, I didn't put any switches in here. Oh, man, like, it's just, like, a lot of stuff I'm just trying to think on the fly. What I miss... Obviously, it needs a lot of cards. We could cut some of Charmeleons as well. Um, that could give us the switch cards. We'll press done. All right, so we're going to Ultra Ball. Discard this and this. <coughs> we'll grab a Charmander. Okay. We'll put down a Charmander. Attach a... Well, we could just put... No, I'll put it right here. Well, Lily... Okay, we could heat factor and draw three more. Yeah, let's go. Let's 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 get the heat factor out of the way. Let's draw some more cards. Trying to find more basic Pokemon. Okay, so we have Ultra Ball. We discard Cynthia and the Nine Tails. We could get double Charizard out next turn, which seems really good. See, so we got Charmander. Okay, we'll put down Charmander, and then we'll pass. Yeah, but we could get double Charizard next turn. We can, you know, uh, timer wall, flip some coins. Hmm? Not too bad. I wish we didn't have to discard all your fire energy. That's the only unfortunate thing. But, I mean, we got the rare candy Charizard. We got another rare candy timer ball. We'll at least get two energies on this guy and have this guy as get another two energies. Okay. So we have two Charizard pretty much powered up. It was very nice. Okay. We did discard the Lele, Ninetales, obviously not. It's not doing any work right now, but it's still in there. All right, so see Volkner coming down. Hold on, I'm trying to see who won this. Uh, I think Clifton won. Okay, sorry, I'm watching the uh, the Australian International at the same time. It was Clifton um, versus uh, Gustavo. So we see Zapdos coming down. Okay, we see Choice Band going to the Zapdos. We see the Lightning to the Zapdos. We'll see a treat to the Zapdos, and we'll see Thunder's Assault for 8, 9, 10, 11. 110 damage. Oh, an Electro Power, 140. Does he have another one? Nope, just 140. All right, so in our turn, what are we to? Water. Good. Okay, let's Timer Ball. We need one heads here. Ooh, I always get scared when I see it not flipping anything. All right, so Charizard. Well, Rare Candy, Charizard. We will rare candy Charizard. My goodness, double Charizard. All right, we'll use Roaring Resolve. We'll take 20. We'll get two energies. Okay, we use Roaring Resolve for another two energies. Let's attach to the active and let's send the new hand of six. That's a pretty good turn right there. Well, let's do this. We're going to grab a Vulpix. This can get us a Ninetales next turn to get back our um, Energy Cycler. Um, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to retreat right now. 
and just use continue. I know we can use the fire energy, but I'm gonna save it. Uh, one, two, three, three, four, five, six. We could draw some more stuff. I don't think that really matters. Let's just continue this blaze ball for the knockout. Yeah, we'll do 130. Go down to five prize cards. <laughs> That's the only unfortunate thing. We're only, we only took one prize card. All right, I said our opponent's turn. But I mean, I don't think he can take a knockout this turn. Unless he gets like another Zapdos, Lightning, uh, Electro Power, right? 7, 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, he needs two Electro Powers this turn to take a knockout. Okay. There's a Jirachi. Okay, double Jirachi. I don't really care about that. What I'm more concerned about us is us loot, running out of energies. So Jirachi coming up. Okay. Another Stellar Wish. There's an Electro Power. Okay. And I mean, this Charger can one-shot a... Uh, a charge okay so just pass here okay that's good for us so let's timer ball okay we'll grab a nine tails we'll use nine tails yes we'll search for one and two this thing grab us a Charmander. Okay, grab both of these. We'll play the Nest Ball to get a Charmander. We'll put that down. Um, let's use this to shuffle back five. Okay. Let's attach a Fire Energy here. Use Roaring Resolve for the two. So four left in deck. I'm not going to use this Charizard because we can pretty much take a knockout. And then we're going to Lily because her hand looks pretty good for next turn. All right. We'll continue this play as well. I'm trying to save my fire energies, obviously, because we're playing against this low HP deck that we're constantly discarding our energies. There's a Ditto. Pretty useless, unfortunately. But what we can do next turn is we can use Burning Resolve to get two energy in this guy attached to the Charmander. Evolve the Charmeleon. Then we have, like, three guys pretty much power to go. All right, you know, I talked about how we might struggle against, you know, basics, but you know what? We uh, got that set up pretty quickly. There's an escape rope coming down. Okay. Oh. That's fine. Escape rope doesn't really do too much. Stretch your back in the, uh, okay, there's a Drachi. Two retreat gods. That's the only thing I hate right now. Drachi come down. Okay. Maybe don't play so many Charmeleons. Or maybe the Ditto's not needed. I don't know. Like, I know the Ninetales is needed. I'm like, it's so good. Like, you just saw just to grab, you know, whatever. There's a Cynthia. Okay. He's already retreated. And if he uses Cynthia, well, he can't do anything unless he Guzmas. There's an Eevee. Okay. Now, Eevee does have that, like, annoying GX, GX tech. So there's Electro Power. Okay. We're just burning our Electro Powers. An Escape Rope. You know, I'm giving up the Tapu Lele. That's fine. I'm fine sending the Tapu Lele. Let's see who decides to send up. If he sends up the, the Jolteon, that's fine with me because we just knock it out with this guy. So, so if you new hand of six, he just needs a lightning energy. He can take a knockout. But then we can retaliate and knock out. Okay. Because we got the Fire Energy attachment. So we're doing 230, which knocks out a Jolteon. There's another Escape Rope. Oh, we'll sit back on the Charizard. That's fine with me. I don't care. Okay. So, so he must not have anything. So he missed the Lightning Energy. Or maybe if he did hit it, he doesn't want to use it. Maybe. Mm, okay, maybe not. Fire Energy. Charmeleon. Let's use Burning Resolve. Okay. Two more on that guy. Um, let's Cynthia for new hand of six and try to find a Guzma next turn. Hey, there we go. So we'll continue this blaze ball. We're going down to three prize cards. Okay, and we got Ultra Ball finding the Charizard. 
My goodness, okay. So, we see the Drach coming up. On to our opponent's turn. Oh, man, goodness. Another Stella Witch. I mean, I know he hasn't really got set up, but that's fine. It's whatever. Okay, an escape board. So, you can treat whatever. I don't care. I don't care about that. An escape board deactive. He's done all Electro Powers, which is good. Oh, he has one more left. There's, okay, so we're going to see the, the Jolteon come down, right? But, I mean, we have two guys pretty much ready to go. And then we'll get out of one prize card. My goodness. We probably should have put down the Ditto um, to guarantee the Ninetales next turn if we need it. Okay. All right, so 30, knockout, that's fine. He goes down to four prize cards. Because what we're going to do now is hopefully take the knockout. Oh, goodness. That's the one top deck we really didn't need to see. So let's Ultra Ball, discard an Ultra Ball and Charmeleon. Grab the Charizard. Okay. We'll put the Charizard down. <clears throat> um, okay, so we can use Heat Factor to discard the Fire to G. Yep, we'll hate factor for, for fire to G. Yes, we got it! Alright, so we get energy cycler. Uh, five in our deck. Okay. <laughs> we can use burning resolve. To put two in the active. This is so nice. Okay. Attach per turn. 5, 10, 15, 20. We'll use another burning resolve. On this guy. Alright. We'll retreat into Charizard. And we'll continue as Blaze Ball for the knockout. We can even attach more energies if we want to. Uh, we're going to hold off right now just in case he does somehow knock on the bench. We'll have another Charizard that we can use energies. But we're out of energies pretty much. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So maybe we need a third energy cycler in this deck. Oh my goodness. But it does turn out like, hey, you know, this is definitely... A viable deck, it seems like, right? Like, I mean, we did get kind of lucky and hit, like, some crazy stuff. But, man, oh, well, okay. So, there we go. Fan Friday. Looking really... We in on the high note? Like, I kind of want to, like, pull one of those YouTubers that just pull, like, one video out. And, like, oh, that's it. But, I mean, it's so good, right? So, Thunder Mountain. The only problem is, well, you know, we have two energies in the deck. So, we can attach the active retreat if need be. Ultra Ball, okay. So, what can happen is he can get an EV, attach a Lightning, use his GX tech to knock us out. Right? Um, but, that doesn't matter, right? Yeah, Thunder Mountain, Lightning less. He can do 110. Right? But then we can goose with the Drachi, take a knockout Charizard. All right, just Electro Bullet. <coughs> All right, anyways, um, well, we'll just Roaring Resolve. Get another, oh, just, oh, we only have one energy left. Oh, my goodness. If he didn't put another Pokemon, we actually would have lost the game there. Oh, well, send in Charizard, uh, and we'll continue as Blaze Ball for the knockout. 560 damage. We'd have one fire to be prized. All right, so let's see here. What can, what changes can we make with this list? Let's go back here. Let's go back into this. Let's open a deck manager. All right, so maybe go down to two Charmeleon, right? Uh, Ditto, you know, was kind of lackluster, but we only played one game with it. Um, we definitely need, like, maybe some switching cards because Ninetales has a two or three cost, but we don't really care. If, like, like, Beacon is good, don't get me wrong, but that's not... We're really trying to do right okay so we got rid of a charmeleon maybe we'll play a third energy cycler i just don't want our hand to be clunky of energy cyclers right but i think it's not a bad idea we almost we would have ran energy that game for sure when it lost um 
We play four and two, so that's fine. Two nine tails, I think it's fine as well. All right, let's just go with that. Let's play this. I know I talked about eight, uh, switches, but you know we play three Guzmas. I think we're okay here. Let's play one more game, and then you know what? We're gonna watch more Oceana Internationals. When this video goes live, it's not gonna be up. It'll be a couple hours, unless you're watching this later in the day, or if you watch this next day, then I have no idea what time frame it is, and and you could be watching whatever you want to. All right, so let's go. All right, so come on, Charizard Nine Tails. I'm hoping to Oceana we see something we haven't seen yet. We've seen a lot of. Oh man, what is this? Okay, call heads. We oh my goodness, we're so good at winning coin flips right now. The luck is on our side right now. No, I have a mulligan. I mean, we did have like you know Ness and Ultra Ball. So that would actually be fine. Okay, so Gyarados. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. A Gyarados deck. We are pure fire. Obviously, this deck doesn't do very good against fire. Water Pokemon, sorry. Alright, let's see what we get. Okay. Mm, Get okay. So we're gonna Ultra Ball. One and two. For a Charmander. This is not gonna go good, guys. But you know what? That's how it goes. We had one good game. They probably had one bad game. All right. Press done. What? Azul is on street? Why do they have a video of Azul right now? Oh my goodness. Are they supposed to pull... Uh, we're so right now watching Oceana, right? Azul is like on stream right now. Oh my goodness. Everybody's cheering in the stats now. Azul's got his blonde hair. He is looking like a goddess. Uh, let's see. Ooh, what are they playing? I don't know. They're playing some kind of format. Alright. So, okay. So, what we got here? Um... Unfortunately, we don't have much. Let's put a fire energy here. Let's just go beacon to grab one and two. Yep. Because if we don't got this Gyarados next turn, we're, we're still looking okay. So grab both these guys. Okay. Yeah, I think this is fine. Magikarp, Vulpix, Water, Beacon. You know what? We might win this game. We might win this game. I know... I know we're, we're talking pretty highly right now, but I believe in us. All right, Magikarp and Gyarados onto our turn. Let's Nine Tails. Yep. Let's go one and two. Okay. Josh, you didn't have a rare candy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you didn't have a rare candy. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We got we got distracted. I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie to you. We got a little distracted here. We had a good hand and we didn't hit it. It's fine. It's whatever. It's whatever. Great, great, Josh. You were doing good, and then you got distracted. Okay, so let's heat factory. Let's discard the fire. Draw on three. Okay, let's do this. One and two to find a Charmeleon. Okay, I think we're still fine. We're still fine. Grab a Charmeleon. All right. So let's see, we got Charizard. We know he has Gyarados in hand, but we could not got pretty much any Gyarados to put down. Magikarp coming down. What does this new Gyarados do? Oh my goodness, this is actually really scary. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, Magic Carp and Gyarados. Oh my goodness, this is actually really uh, intimidating. Okay, put this down. You know, I think we Erica's here first. Well, let's, let's Roy Resolve. Okay. Let's Erica's. We got a Ray of Candy, Charizard, our other Charmeleon's in the discard pile. Okay. 
Let's heat factor the fire. Let's get another roaring resolve. Okay. That's all we need, actually. I guess we could just be attaching. Well, we only need two, so yeah. That's fine. 150! Just kidding, I thought it was 130! All right, good, great, great, good, 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 great, great, good, 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 great, 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 good, 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 good. Fire energy here. Press done. All right, so next turn we might start swinging. We need to start swinging next turn, Josh. All right, I think I think we have to start swinging next turn. Another match card in the field. Uh, another Gyarados coming online. Okay, he might start attacking first. Sixty. Uh, or 90, sorry. Alright, let's see here. Man. I don't want to Guzma, but at the same time we have to. So let's Guzma, bring up Gyarados, send in our Charizard. Uh, yep, continuous Blaze Ball. Go down to 5. We get a Charmander, okay. He's definitely going to take a knockout this turn. Like, 100% he's taking a knockout. <laughs> Alright, Gyarados coming up. Alright, we did the first knockout, though, so that's good. There's an Apricorn Maker to search for some ball cards. There's a Lair and a Timer, okay. I guess at any moment, too, he can also, like, knock out this Nine Tails. Gets a Double Tails, okay. We gotta stay focused, Josh. Focus, focus, focus. Stretch back to Magikarp. Put another carp, water. I mean, he. Pff, yeah, that's a knockout. Okay, 300. We'll send a Charizard, okay. Okay, so I'm actually going to just continuous blaze ball for the knockout. Okay. So go down to four. There's a rare candy. So next time we can get double Charizard out in an energy cycler plus a stretcher. All right, so no Guzma. That's good. There's a lore ball. Okay. Just one Gyarados. <laughs> we got lucky there. All right, Gyarados coming out. Okay. He's got the Water Energy. Another Water Energy Magikarp. He's got the Knockout. Jeez. He discarded a Stretcher, though. This is a very interesting deck. All right. So send up Charmander. All right. So in our turn, we will Energy Cycler. Fly back in the deck. We will rare candy the Charizard. Nine tails. Yes. Let's grab this and this. How many rare candies have we played, guys? Okay. Stretcher. One, two. Three. Yep. Oh no, we, got, we, oh, we don't have Charmeleons now. Oh, we need one more Charmeleon, Josh. Okay, well, Roaring Resolve. Two to this guy. I don't think we have enough resources to pull this off, unfortunately. Uh, send him a new hand of six. All right, let's continuous blaze ball for the knockout. I'm so nervous now. I don't think we have ways to like win this game. Unfortunately, good out of three. There's an old ball. All right, that can help us out for sure. Magikarp. Okay. Yeah, if we have one more stretcher, we might be okay here. 
All right, he only flipped one heads again. We we're getting lucky on these. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the the fate. Oh no, he can get back two evolutions. Okay, double Gyarados. Oh my goodness. There's another Water G there. Disto Blast, discarding a lecture. If we can make it through both these Gyarados, we might be okay. Might be, though. No, that's the big thing. All right, so we're going to Lele. We're going to look at our deck real quick. Yeah. We have one Red Candy left. All right, so press done. We'll put down another Lele. Yes. For nothing. We'll Ultra Ball away one and two. For a Charmander. <clears throat> we'll put down the Charmander. And, you know, after all these times, I didn't check to see how many, how many energy cards are in my deck. All right, it's a good double. Let's see how many energies in here. One. Perfect. All right, we're guaranteed the Charizard right now. Um. Okay, so let's. Roying resolve for the one. Then we have the knockout this turn. Well. Uh, Lily for four. Hope to hit a red candy for next turn. Yes! Alright, continuous blaze ball. Going at a two. Okay. Alright. Why aren't you deactive? If he... Oof. Oh my goodness, guys. If we get this, I'm going to be so excited. I, we should be able to get this. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, so send a Charmander. We're only drawing three off the Zeracos. I know there's not a Fire Energy. Okay. So we can Rare Candy, Charizard. Put down Charmander. Oh, we have Lily. Yes. Ultra Ball. One and two. This is beautiful, guys. We have the game. Press done. We'll enter recycler. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> we will roaring resolve. Put two on here. We'll lily. Put one here. We'll continuous blaze ball for knockout. And then he can't attack us this turn and we take down Water Nation. Yes! All right. Unless we, uh, unless he Guzmas and we duck out. I mean, even then we have energy cycler and a fire energy attachment and then another fire energy attachment. So like we should be okay. So top of Lele, what's this gonna get us? I'm scared. I'm nervous guys, it's cold. Okay, I don't care about the Elms. He has no mag he has no magic cards left. K okay. retreat. <laughs> Alrighty, we did it. On our turn, the energy cycle we just put back on our deck. We'll put five back in there. We will Roying Resolve two on this guy. Attach a fire to do 5, 10, 15, you know, 180 damage. And there we go, guys. I got distracted by Azul, but we we're still able to pull it out. Take down the water deck with our fire deck. Oh my goodness, that is fantastic. So that is a perfect Fan Friday going to a with our Charizard Nine Tails deck. That was so much fun, and that was a really interesting deck. Can we see our opponent's deck? Look at this. He has some bad luck for sure, but wow, that is really cool. 28 water. Stop. Hold on, we're exporting this. No, open a deck manager, Josh. Come on now. 
Let's call it Broken Gyarados. Let's go Broken GDOS. Yeah, this from the new set, right? Yeah, maybe we'll play this. Maybe our, we'll save our opponent's, uh, our opponent's deck and play for Road Tuesday. Maybe we'll make some changes to it or something, play around with it. Maybe we'll play the same 60. Let me know down below. But there we go. Charizard Ninetales going 2-0, taking down Gyarados. My goodness, this was a lot of fun. I talked about how we couldn't be uh, non-GX decks, and we took down two in a row. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Go play Charizard Ninetales. Go have some fun. Uh, let me know what you'll play if you've got some more energies or play some more energies or second stretcher. I think the second stretcher might be good. Outside of that, I think the list is really good. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. See you on Monday for Main Deck Monday. Alrighty. Bye.